Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin, and today we are going to be doing a relatively easy to find and all over the place. Usually, it's, in, usually it's in a handle. Yeah, <laughs> and it's sometimes towards the bottom of the shelvings. <laughs> uh, this is Famous Grouse. This is a blended scotch. They are owned by the same company that owns McAllen and Highland Park and uh, Eric's favorite, apparently, Cuddy Shark. <laughs> Outside. From college. <laughs> I lost a drinking game. That was the shot I had to do. So, yeah. Okay, so it's that kind of. Yeah. So that's what you're well, saying. They've been around a while. They've been around for 125 years. They have been. They have been producing. That was uh, producing whiskey for 125 years. Mm -hmm. They've been around for over 200 yep. years. So this started, and uh, I wanted, we wanted, we were talking about this earlier. I think Johnny Walker was the same idea. Started as a grocery store. Um, so this started as a grocery store in the 1800s. They filed for their license and did mostly wine and other mm -hmm. things. And then, yeah, 1896, they made their first whiskey or blended their first whiskey. It's a blend. Yeah. It's a blend of, I guess... Couple of the McAllen, the Highland Park, and the Cuddy. Yeah, they're grabbing some of the stuff from the from the rest of the group and blending it together. They don't really release how much of what or any of that kind of fun stuff. Let me go just a touch up here. It's a lovely screw tap. <laughs> yeah, no cork. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, breaking off. No, you do not. <laughs> That's almost everything we know about it. They yeah. really don't share a lot of information. I mean, they're very proud of the fact they've been around for so long. They've done a lot of, they've done it for a long time, and it is relatively popular. It sells everywhere. You said they have a couple other ones. Yeah, they do have a couple. They have which I've never seen. This is the only famous guys yeah, I've seen. I totally agree. Not that I go looking for it though. Right. They do have a couple other versions, and then they also have a couple special, like finished series that they do. So like a bourbon and a wine and a ruby type thing so they do have a couple Which of those makes things. sense for the scotch world yeah it does yeah might as well mm -hmm. it's not a bad nose mm -mm. it's not a bad nose citrusy yeah a little citrus a little honey some fruits malty grain yeah. you know like those kind of things but nothing's wrong with it honestly it's better than i was expecting it to be so well that'll be a good thing Ooh, that's light very light Ooh, a lot of sweet notes a lot of honey yeah, like candy. And then maybe, a, is there a little bit of a char barrel note towards the end? Of, or towards like, the end. Towards the end of that. There's a little something in there. But that's actually really sweet and light. I, I, the nose has more body than the palate does. Yeah. There's just a few more characteristics, a few more notes that come through. The palate is, is pretty light and maybe a little thin. That, that probably is the proof. Yeah. Well, it's only 80. It's your standard. Yep. They're, they're proofing it way down to the 80, and it kind of mutes it all out. It's an easy drinker. Absolutely. Very much so. Like I said, there's not a whole lot more about this particular release or the distillery. Uh, I, I mean, it's got ties, yeah. and that's it. Like, it's, it's pretty recognizable, and it's pretty much in every liquor store they've ever gone to. Yeah. It's, I could also see that pretty being pretty easy to find, like a like a bar shelf for yeah. a, a scotch and ginger or something. But twenty five bucks for a Re bottle. Yes, relatively cheap. Twenty yeah. mid twenties for this bottle. I think it, it's a good if you just want a scotch drinker. It, it'll work. That's about all I got for that. It's not overly you want complex. Experiment? It's you want not, a single malt really cheap inexpensive not single malt, blend oh blend, sorry, blending blend, blending blend, blending sorry. a whole bunch of different things that's the only thing that they do say they do take all their blends put it oh, all together right. and marry it for six months six months that's they right. let it they let it mellow all out and make sure it's all fully blended that's one of the things that they do focus on in on their website and all their uh, all the marketing material there but i don't know it it's fine yeah it's just your average yeah it's it's not a, it's a great baseline bottle now i am slightly interested like what do some of those finishes yep. or do they go into more of a a proof that's my biggest kick 
I think that's that that's going to be my biggest knock on this particular release. That eighty proof, it doesn't just it just doesn't have much personality. It needs to be eighty five to ninety. Yeah, closer to ninety. I I would think ninety would be. It would just give this whiskey a little bit more personality and it'd be able to stand on its own. Right now, I think it's less water. It's a solid mixer. Mm -hmm. That's that's what this comes off as. It's just one to have on your bar. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a great bar, scotch to have. Mm -hmm. Nice blended scotch, easy to find, not expensive. Mix it with whatever. Perfect. But yeah, it kind of goes along the lines of any of those ones that you can find in a handle. Yeah, they're all just oak okay, average. They're, yeah. Absolutely. Not a glowing not, review, yeah. but not a... Uh, <laughs> not what else we can say. We're not beating it down by any means. Mm -mm. It's No, I would fine. probably buy another bottle. Like I said, I would keep it on the bar. Yeah. Go in the corner with the rest of the scotches and the Irishes. Yeah, absolutely. So, no, hopefully we can track down some of those other ones. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, those little finishes would be interesting. Or some, some of their special ones. So, hopefully this won't be the last episode of Dennis Cross. Probably not. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, we'd encourage you to swipe that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the bell icon to get notified every time we put on a new episode. Well, thanks for joining, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.